Everyone in crypto is very excited right now as the Bitcoin halvening is approaching. But what if I told you that everything you believe about the halvening, or as nerds call it, the halving, is actually wrong? Everyone is waiting for the big day in May when the production of Bitcoin is going to be cut in half as the block rewards for mining decreases 50%. One website now is telling us that the happening will not occur in May, as everyone believes. We're going to break it down and explain why this is a good thing for your portfolio. You could be getting rich much sooner than you think. Let's get it. Hello and welcome to BitBoy Crypto, your one-stop shop for all things related to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. I make videos on this channel almost every single day. If you like what you hear or see, then please make sure to hit that subscribe button to become a member of the Bit Squad. Also, click the bell to turn on notifications so you get notified when I make a new video. If you'd like to take the conversation even further or ask me questions, please make sure to join my Telegram group the Bit Squad. We would love to see you there. We have a super interesting video for you today regarding the Bitcoin halvening. So traditionally, the price of Bitcoin always soars following the halvening, and this time really should be no different. We should see the same kind of price action. So Bitcoiners and crypto enthusiasts everywhere are looking forward to this event. Most people believe that the Bitcoin happening is actually going to occur in May. But in reality, you have been lied to. You think you know when it's happening, but you actually have no idea. In fact, no one knows when it's happening. Before we talk about when it is actually going to occur, let's do a quick refresher to explain what exactly the Bitcoin happening is, because if you don't know what it is, then how can we possibly figure out when it's going to happen or why it's important? Many publications and creators refer to this event as the halving or halving, but the Bitcoin white paper written by Bitcoin creator Satoshi Nakamoto actually does not mention this event by name. While I could not actually find the very first mention of the term having, it was being used with a lot of prevalence within one year of Bitcoin's creation, so it definitely wasn't a new term. I personally prefer to use the term havening because in my opinion, it makes it easier to explain to beginners. So what is the havening? In simple terms, this is when the production of Bitcoin is cut in half approximately every four years, but as we'll see in this video, that's just an estimation. Bitcoin is produced by Bitcoin miners. They're the ones that basically make the network go. These miners have computers dedicated to solving complicated math problems formed into segments called blocks. When these math problems are solved, then a block is produced and the miners get rewarded for that block production with freshly made Bitcoin. Sounds like a bakery. <laughs> when Bitcoin was first created, miners received 50 BTC per block that was produced or mined. In 2012, the first Bitcoin halving occurred, which decreased the amount of BTC rewarded per block to 25 Bitcoin. Now, in 2020, as we prepare for the next halving, miners are currently receiving 12.5 BTC per block. Sometime in the next four months, that number is going to drop in half to 6.25 Bitcoin per block. Since the supply of Bitcoin is finite, the halving is basically a built-in mechanism that is based off of supply and demand. As the amount of pr the produced supply gets smaller and smaller, the demand certainly will go up and supply and demand dictates that usually that makes the price of an asset go up. This is one of the reasons, in my opinion, that Bitcoin is far superior to gold. Gold doesn't have any sort of built-in mechanism based on supply and demand. It's just a piece of rock, basically, right? No one knows when we'll find 
all of it, and nobody knows how much gold there actually is in the world. But in the words of Anthony Pompliano, aka Pomp, Bitcoin fixes this. But now let's get to the happening timeline where I believe there is a huge misconception. Many people believe the happening occurs every four years, like a presidential election. But the happening is not actually based on a calendar at all. Four years, in fact, is just an estimate. Let's take a look at the previous happenings and see when they occurred. Bitcoin was created on January 3rd, 2019. The first happening occurred on November 28th, 2012. This meant there was a total of 1,425 days or three years, 10 months, and 25 days. The second happening occurred on July 9th, 2016. That's a total of 1,319 days in between the happenings or three years, seven months, and 11 days. As you can see, there's a pretty big difference. The second happening occurred two months and 14 days faster than the first happening. The reason for this is because the happening is based upon the amount of blocks mined, not a number of days or months or years. The exact number is actually 210,000 blocks that must be mined for the rewards to get cut in half, decreasing the production. A popular website, BitcoinBlockHalf.com, shows the estimated date in May 12, 2020, and a lot of people take this as the gospel. This is generally the date that many people are anticipating the happening to happen on. However, there's no guarantee to this date. If blocks are mined faster, then that date will actually move up. If the happening did in fact occur on May 12th, that would be a total of 1,403 days since the last happening, or three years, 10 months, and three days. In my opinion, that's actually quite peculiar because that would make that time period a little over two months longer than the last happening cycle. The question is though, is this date the correct estimation? Well, there's one website that definitely disagrees. The Bitcoin happening countdown on bitconsider.com seems to believe we will actually be seeing the happening occur much sooner, almost three weeks sooner than anticipated. Right now, the countdown, described as a more accurate happening countdown, believes the event will actually occur on April 24th, 2020. This is great news for Bitcoin holders because this speeds up the timeline for not to be too cliche here, but for us to see the moon. The data on this website comes directly from the Bitcoin blockchain, so it's 100% accurate as of whatever moment you happen to be looking at the countdown. While the countdown has an estimated time, the number of days can actually either slow down or speed up based upon the rate at which Bitcoin is currently being mined. And right now, the Bitcoin hash rate has been going insane, increasing at breakneck speed over the last few years. This stands to reason that the happening date certainly could move up from the estimated date in May. However, some detractors of the countdown estimate believe that Bitcoin's hash rate will actually correct at some point in the next couple of months due to a difficulty correction, and the happening will occur closer to the May 12th estimate. But what is important here is that no one actually knows for sure when the date is going to occur. While it almost certainly will occur during April or May, the exact date is simply not known and anyone who tells you they know simply does not. Now, traditionally, the price of Bitcoin only gets a small bump on the day of the halving itself, followed by a price dip over the next week. But due to the supreme supply and demand design of Bitcoin, the price has always skyrocketed in the months and the year following the happening, so we have that to look forward to. So if the event itself actually occurs in April, then that pushes up the timeline for the dramatic price increase. And that's something that we are all looking forward to. But I wanna know, what do you think? Drop me a comment below and let me know if you believe the happening will in fact occur in April or may and let me know why do you believe the countdown don't forget to smash the like button for me and hit the subscribe button to become a member of the bit squad but don't forget to click the bell so you get notified whenever i have new content 
Thank you so much for watching this video and all of the support on the channel. Have a blessed day. Bitboy out.